Hello everyone. A very good day. It is another day. Have a very brightful day. I am Somaranjan Naik, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Department at Bedang Institute of Technology. Today I am continuing the classes of transmission system. Completed the single plate clutch, then multi plate clutch, and today we are going to the third types of clutch that is cone clutch. In this type of clutch, it is better than the multi plate clutch. The different types of clutch which we are discussing, these are just overcoming the previous type of clutch demerits or disadvantage. Single plate clutch have no such much amount of torque to get transmitted. For that purposes, multiple multi plate clutch came into the contact. In multi plate clutch, more number of torque is transmitted with comparable with the single plate clutch. Again, we need more requirement of surface area higher with a very simpler or design. Another thing is that we need also transmit of the more number of torque or large number of torque comparable with the multiple torque, multiple plate and single plate. So we are going to get design, we already get design this cone clutch. The name suggested the cone clutch means the design of the clutch is just like the shape of a cone. Okay. So what does mean the cone clutch? A cone clutch is a type of a friction clutch. The clutch is a type of a friction, you already know about it because it is connected with the flywheel, then disengage or engage with flywheel by means of friction plate are there. So that is why the friction clutch. Every clutch is a friction clutch, not only cone clutch, every clutch is a friction clutch. A cone clutch type of friction clutch in which the two conical shape component are used for the engagement and disengagement. That means there is a two conical shape, not a single piece, there is a two conical shape like structure. Two conical shape like structure means the structure of the clutch is designed in such a way there is an inner core and another outer core, that is the inner core system is cone shape. Outer core system is also a cone shape structure and that why it is known as two shape structure or two conical shape structure. Next is the inner cone is pressed inside the outer cone. That means one is inner cone is there, another one is outer cone is there. Now what is inner core, outer core? Just look at this figure. This one is the inner core. Okay. This just like a cone shape. You just look at the figure, it is just a cone slip. The red color is the inner cone design of a clutch. That is why it is written over here inner cone. In inner cone, there is a frictional lining. Every clutch there is a frictional lining. We already study about in single plate and multi plate clutch. Then here it is a friction, friction lining or a friction plate, you can say. Here there is no plate. But there is a lining. Lining means what? Just like a rubber pedal, just like in a brake, there is a brake rubber. Similar type, in this, there is a small intact of the friction surface, that is known as friction lining in the inner core of the clutch. This clutch, sometimes regarded as the male part of cone clutch system. Some books, it is written as male part. It is a male part. Inner cone is also otherwise known as the male part of the cone clutch. Next is driving shaft getting the torque from the engine, driven shaft transmit the torque from the driving shaft to the gearbox, then for gearbox to propeller shaft, then to that of rear differential to the rear axle. Next, we can study about another thing over here. The inner cone is pressed inside the outer cone. That means the inner cone, the inner cone system is pressed the outer cone. Okay. This outer cone is otherwise known as female part of the cone, cone clause system. The inner part is male, outer part is the female. The inner core is just engaged or disengaged. It is just arranged in such a way, it is just inside the female cone. Next, therefore, due to the friction occurs between them in the inner cone and outer cone, the friction occurs by means of friction lining. 
power is transmitted from the input shaft to the closed system that means input shaft means what input is driving shaft output is driven shaft hence the clutch is engaged position that means clutch in the engaged position means the first we can discuss about in this figure when you can say in the close in a cone clutch system that is the clutch is engaged when you can able to uh, manually just press the pedal of the clutch or just release the pedal of the clutch at that time is going to get engaged when you press the disengage so going for engage system what happened when you release the clutch system at that time the, the clutch will get engaged with the help of the friction lining and the inner cone plate of the clutch it connected with the outer cone of the plate of the clutch this completely system get connected with the flywheel get connected with the flywheel then the flow of the torque takes place the transmission of the torque takes place, takes place from driving shaft to that of driven shaft then there is when the driver presses the clutch pedal the inner cone moves towards the right side against the compression spring Hence, there is a no friction between the outer cone and the inner cone. Therefore, no power transmission takes place from the engine to the gearbox. Hence, in such a way, the clutch is disengaged. That means what? When the driver press the clutch pedal at the time by means of the spring shaft and the spring system. Actually, the contact lever means it just contact with the inner cone. Contact lever is used to the transmit or the fluctuating of the inner cone system. That's why it is arranging with the contact lever. Next, by means of a disengaging means when the driver press the clutch pedal, at that time what happened? At that time it is going to get disengaged. Disengage means the cone system, the clutch plate is away from each other. That means the inner cone system, the outer cone system, the inner cone just get removed out from the outer cone system. Here there is a driving shaft. In previously we study about what? In previously study about the clutch plate connected with the flywheel directly clutch plate connected with the fly, flywheel directly and from the flywheel the torque is get transmitted but over here what happened the outer cone is get connected with the engine the torque from the engine from the driving shaft or input shaft is first comes to the outer cone after that during when the driver just press the clutch pedal at that time is going to get disengage that means disengage means the inner cone system by means of spleen sap it just move away from the away from the outer cone when it just move away from the outer cone at that time this spleen sap not get connected with this driven sap for which the torque is not transmitted through the driven sap to the gearbox or to the transmission system the rear axle of the wheel by means of differential propeller shaft whereas this is known as a disengagement in engagement what happened when the driver just released the clutch pedal at that time the spring or contact lever as there at that time what happened by means of spring action it comes to the original position in engagement part in engagement part what happened the inner cone just moves towards the outer cone when the inner cone moves towards the outer cone at that time the driven the spleen shaft of the inner cone is get connected with the driving shaft of the outer cone here the torque is now transmitted to the driven shaft from the engine or input shaft to the outer cone during the engagement then from outer cone transmitted to the inner cone by means of spleen shaft or driven shaft or output Shaft of the transmission system of cone clutch, the torque is transmitted to the gearbox, then to the propeller shaft, then to differential and to the rear axle. This is a whole system of the working principle of a cone clutch system. The friction lining and the inner cone, outer cone, driven dri uh, driven shaft, actuating spin contact with the spring system in which you can able to come into the engaged position by means of automatically. It is all complete details about the working principle of the cone clutch. The shape is just like a cone 
function just different from multi plate and single plate is that only the outer cone is connected to the flywheel the inner cone is not connected to the flywheel previously we study about multi plate and single plate they are directly connected to the flywheel by means of a pressure plate here there is no pressure plate is another great difference here there is no pressure plate in multi plate in single plate clutch there is a pressure plate all the clutch are attached with the pressure plate when the pressure plate move by means of spring shaft at that time the clutch move simultaneously with them or with that movement of the linkage but here there is no pressure plate at all instead of pressure plate there is a inner cone system and the outer cone system is connected to the flywheel that means the driven shaft the input shaft is connected directly to that of outer cone and from that outer cone the transmitted to the inner cone to the driven shaft by means of spring shaft then the torque is get transmitted throughout the transmission system this is all about the function of the cone clutch system next we are going to about this animation it is a small video a small animation of cone clutch working principle before that we are going for the nomenclature about it engine flywheel okay here one thing is not uh, completely get a uh, analysis or not defined in this picture or in this animation is that the outer cone okay this flywheel is connected to the outer cone so the outer cone is separately is just not mentioned over here means mainly this one is the outer cone which connected to the engine flywheel so in this picture what happened it just indicate the engine flywheel whereas this one is the outer cone which connected to the engine flywheel the same thing is over here means the engine flywheel gives the power to the or torque to the clutch directly and we know that in cone clutch the outer part or the female part female part is connected to the engine flywheel so it is just indicate over engine flywheel but this one is the outer clutch of the female part of the clutch next engine shaft input shaft or driving shaft now it is a spring shaft the clutch shaft this is a clutch shaft clutch shaft means when you just pedal with the clutch system at that time the clutch shaft connected to the spring shaft that spring shaft is the outer put shaft or the driven shaft which is not given over here that connected this is only a clutch shaft but this clutch shaft otherwise known as the driven shaft which move the output shaft of the system next this one is the inner core system inner cone system male part outer cone system female part and is the engine flywheel connected with it as flywheel is not given over here in this picture and this one is the clutch plate inner cone clutch plate clutch fork is the arrangement by means of any type of fulcrum's arrangement within the clutch to get pedal in the shaft this is automatically you can know that about the manually clutch pedal the outside so this is completely indication part of the cone clutch system where the flywheel is not indicated don't get about doubt over it whereas flywheel is not indicated over here it is the outer female part and just connected to the flywheel that's why it is the engine flywheel over written over here so iska completely method matlab matlab yahi hai ki ye ek female part hai outer part andar ek male part hai male part hai inner part outer part flywheel se connected hai jabki hum multi plate aur single plate mein jo padhe hain टोटली प्रेशर प्लेट और क्लॉथ सिस्टम फ्लाईवील का अरेंजमेंट होता है और कनेक्टेड होता है और प्रेशर प्लेट और क्लॉथ प्लेट सिस्टम कनेक्टेड होता है यहाँ पे प्रेशर प्लेट नहीं है उसके जगह इनर इनर कोन प्लेट है और यहाँ पे डायरेक्टली क्लॉथ प्लेट सिस्टम फ्लाईवील में कनेक्टेड नहीं है जबकि आउटर कोन या फीमेल कोन क्लॉथ प्लेट में फ्लाईवील में कनेक्टेड है इज ओनली डिफरेंस वेन देर इज ए डिस एंगेजमेंट डिस एंगेजमेंट मीन्स वेन द पेडल इज जस्ट प्रेस्ड at that time this inner cone move outside of the outer cone connected with the flywheel so no torque will be transmitted it is the disengagement when the clutch pedal will released at that time the inner cone move forward connected with the outer outer part or female part the torque is get transmitted the engagement of the system this is all about the cone clutch system working principle the short videos you can able to look for the better understanding 
This is a disengagement when cloth pill is pressed, we release this engagement. Disengagement, then engagement. Disengage the cloth and again engagement. When there is a engage, disengaged, no power is transmitted. When engagement, power is transmitted. When there is a disengagement in the green, there is no power transmitted. Engagement, power is transmitted. This is an inner cone, it is a female cone. They both are just flow, move to and fro motion by means of cloth plate system. Finally, once again you watch. Next, we will be move to the advantages and disadvantages of cone cloth system. The advantage of cone cloth system is the small axial force is required to keep the cloth engaged. Means when we study about the first single plate, more number of effort is required or large effort is required. Then the effort is reduced in multi-plate cloth. But here, with comparable with multi-plate cloth, the effort again reduced in the cone cloth by means of the arrangement of the design of the cone system or the cone safe arrangement we require very less number of effort or very less effort or power or less force by means of a driver that means we will utilize the less amount of energy to engage or disengage the cloth a very easily or convenient we can able to work over it next is simple design it is very very simple design comparable with the previously multi-plate or the single plate clutch because it is only the cone type symbol uh, design which gives you much number of torque with, with comparable with the previously both cloth system. Next is the torque transmission. The torque transmission is high. That is a great advantage over here where you can move, move to study over it. The torque transmission over here is much more with comparable with the multiplate and single plate because the surface area of the cone is much more with comparable with the multiplate clutch. Next is if surface area is more, torque transmission is more. It creates less noise and less wear tear because the friction lining is only two section here there is only two section friction lining are there only two friction lining are there only two friction lining are there only two point in outer cone there is a inner friction lining both side in the inner cone there is a outer side friction lining that is at a two point there is a friction lining but when we when we already study about multi plate or single plate there is a friction plate are there the friction lining and friction plate is different. Friction plate is much more bigger, larger than the friction lining. Friction lining is just a simple lining plate. For example, just like brake pedal. Brake pedal mein jo chota sa rubber ka hissa hota hai, usko lining kehte hai. Usi hissa se yahan pe arrangement kiya gaya hai. Next is, so that's why it creates very less noise. That means it creates very less noise. Friction is very less due to this very less amount of friction lining or contact point. Next, you go to disadvantage of cone clutch. If the all advantages are there in the cone clutch, what is the disadvantage? The disadvantage is the become very difficult to engage the cone in the angle smaller than required. That means at the time of the design of a cone clutch, the cone clutch ko hum design karte hain, uska ek particular angle hota. Iska matlab ye nahi ki hum jo chahein, jis hisab se chahein, usi hisab se cone clutch ko hum banayenge. That means during the design of cone clutch, we have to very careful during the design of cone clutch by give a particular specific angle that is about 20 degree or more to vary about 25 degree if the cone clutch the angle will be less or very high then the cone clutch will not work properly a torque system is not able to transmit it properly from engine to vehicle rear wheel system that means the designing part of the cone system during the designing of the cone plate clutch it is very required to be view or is required to be analysis very careful that is the one disadvantages means the speed the class uh, engagement arrangement depend upon the angle of the class system next high maintenance is required high maintenance required means the design is simple but is a cone design the angle the angle in which we depend on it the, in this class the maintenance is high with comparable with the multi plate or a single plate clutch 
that's why this is the only disadvantage over it where, where it is applied or application of the cone clause we already studied that single plate clause already not able to working properly for which today generation single plate clause is not get applied at all in multiple plate clause we study the more truck is provide is transmitted with comparable single plate clause that's why we can able to use in the racing vehicle but cone clause is used to transmit large number of torque with comparable with the multiplate clause that means when there is a requirement of large number of torque to get transmitted at that time cone clause is used so where the application takes place in cone clause number one the racing boat in racing boat the cone clause is used high speed car the racing and high speed car high speed car may cone plate clause use kiya jata hai and the racing बोट में यूज किया जाता है सिंक्रोनोज गियर बॉक्स सिस्टम सिंक्रोनोज गियर बॉक्स सिस्टम जो है उसमें भी कोन प्लेट क्लॉस का यूज किया जाता है इट इज ऑल अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द कोन क्लॉस ऑल अबाउट द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोन क्लॉस अभी तक जो मैं पढ़ाया हूं क्लॉथ सिस्टम ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम था ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम के अंडर क्लॉथ आता है गियर बॉक्स आता है यूनिवर्सल जॉइंट आता है प्रोपेलर साफ्ट आता है और डिफरेंशियल आता है एंड व्हील एंड टायर आता है इस चीज के अंदर पहला जो चीज है इस चीज के अंदर जो पहला चीज है वो क्लॉच है तो क्लॉच से स्टार्ट किया था ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम तो क्लॉच की पहला क्लास जो था वो सिंगल प्लेट का था यू कैन गो एंड वॉच इट क्लॉच की जो सेकेंड क्लास था वो मल्टी प्लेट क्लॉस था यू कैन गो फॉर वॉच इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड द थर्ड क्लास जो क्लॉच का जो थर्ड क्लास है वो कोन क्लॉच है ये जो तीनों क्लॉच में पढ़ाया हूं सिंगल प्लेट हो मल्टी प्लेट हो और कोन कोन प्लेट क्लॉच हो ये तीनों प्लेट जो है ये मैनुअल ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम है मैनुअल ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम का मतलब यही है कि यहां पे जो क्लॉच पेडल है यहां पे जो क्लॉच पेडल यहां पे जो है क्लॉच पेडल मैनुअली एक क्लॉच पेडल होगा फोर व्हील में और इन टू व्हीलर में एक क्लॉच का लीवर होगा एक क्लॉच का लीवर होगा जो बाइक में होता है और क्लॉच का पेडल होगा ये मैन्युअली अगर आप देखेंगे कि क्लॉच का पेडल है या क्लॉच का लीवर है तो उसमें जो क्लॉच सिस्टम है वो मैनुअल क्लॉच सिस्टम है इसका मतलब आप मैनुअली डाल रहे हैं क्लॉच उसी हिसाब से वो काम कर रहा है ओके तो उस मैनुअल ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम में सिंगल प्लेट क्लॉच आता है मल्टी प्लेट क्लॉच आता है और कोन प्लेट क्लॉच आता है तो अभी तक मैं जो तीन प्लेट ऑफ क्लॉच या तीन सिस्टम ऑफ क्लॉच पढ़ा चुका हूं दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम बट मैनुअल ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम ऑफ द क्लॉच इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम ऑफ द व्हीकल और ऑटोमेटिक क्लॉच सिस्टम तो ऑटोमेटिक क्लॉच सिस्टम का मतलब यही है कि जहां पे क्लॉच पेडल नहीं होगा गाड़ी चल रहा है जहां पे क्लॉच का लीवर नहीं होगा गाड़ी चल रहा है तो एग्जाम्पल क्या है सब जानते हैं मोरी मोरी से मॉर्फेट है उसके बाद स्कूटी है जितने सारा प्लेजर्स प्लस हो जुपिटर्स हो जितने जितने ज़्यादा है सॉर्बो मोटर्स इंडस्ट्री में जो भी यूज़ किया जाता है जो मोटर्स वहाँ पे भी जो इंजन यूज़ किया जाता है वहाँ पर भी एक ऑटोमेटिक क्लॉथ सिस्टम होता है तो ऑटोमेटिक क्लॉथ सिस्टम नेक्स्ट क्लास में ट्रांसमिशन ऑटोमेटिक ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम और ऑटोमेटिक क्लॉथ सिस्टम पढ़ाऊँगा टॉप टू एट स्टे ट्यून फॉर माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच